Well, my expectations for tonal synthesis were very high, but the reality has exceeded it by far. In this case, uh, it really demonstrates it quite well. This is a 42-year-old patient uh, presenting for her baseline mammogram. And this is her standard 2D mammogram, uh, which would be interpreted as normal. There's no finding here. But on the 3D image, as we page through the breast, you'll see an area of architectural distortion just pop up right in this area now. And this is, you can see the fine speculations uh, that stand out that there's no way you could see on the standard 2D mammogram. Um, we are seeing this uh, almost on a daily basis now. We're finding tumors that are less than a centimeter in size. Most of the cancers we're finding that are 3D only type cancers are less than one centimeter in size. We've seen them as little as three millimeters and the average has been six to seven millimeters in size. As we all know, the statistics show out of Sweden that if we find the cancers less than one centimeter, their cure rate is 98%. So this is extremely exciting uh, for patients right at a time when there's a lot of confusion about whether we should be getting mammograms or not. This helps clarify because at the same time we're finding little bitty cancers like this, our callback rates have dropped in half since we started doing tonal synthesis. 50% reduction in callback rates. Now, that's, that should silence a lot of the critics about mammography because there's no question we find smaller cancers. There's no question that that reduces the mortality. One of the criticisms has been that we've had to call too many people back for additional views. Now that we've reduced our callback rate by half, that goes a long way to uh, dealing with these issues. Going forward, it may even be better than that, and that is once we start following patients year after year with 3D mammography, I would expect that the callback rates would continue to drop. So uh, the future looks very bright for women in this country and all over the world uh, thanks to this new technology.